It's nice to see you again. Thanks. For, uh, yes, yeah. it's nice to see you. I always. know. We're fans of you, so we always get so excited when you come. And I am a fan of yours. Okay, well, I like this interview already. Um, so your kids are older than mine. I heard that you're close to being a full empty nester. I have a colleger. Okay. As, as they used to say when recent? they were little. Uh, no, she's pretty, no, no she's a junior. Oh, she's but a it junior. feels recent okay. um, oh. because I hate it. Uh, <laughs> but, um, further away. <laughs> and I have a ninth grader, but oh, I'm okay. holding on for dear life. Just trying to, trying to really delay him as much as possible. <laughs> So he never, so he never helped. leaves. He never leaves me. Oh my gosh! I know. I I freak out. I have friends that have older kids of mine, and I'm like, I can't imagine. It's, I mean, you feel like you've done your best job, totally. I assume. But it's, like, still, it's the weirdest, most antithetical thing, parenting, because you you your entire job is to teach them to fly, yeah. And then their actual flight is the most devastating possible thing that could happen to you. <laughs> So it, it feels very unfair because you're constantly like against your own challenge of, you know. No, but I mean, they're, they're, yes, my one in college loves college, which is such a blessing and yeah. um, is thriving and doing all the things she's supposed to be doing. And See, you did a great job. I'm trying. She doesn't know how to drive yet. She's almost 21. So we have some This is areas. a generational thing. This yes. is a, yeah, my, even my niece and nephew, like every, Everybody is getting it way later in life. It's, yeah. like, it's not like it was when we were young. Like, that was freedom. No, I That was I like mean, getting a we, job, freedom. We knew how to make, like, Thanksgiving by seventh grade. Yeah. Yeah. We were... Your house It was kid. a different time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, no, it's just, you know, again, we didn't have... It was different. We didn't yeah. have babysitters. We didn't have all of it. Or but, Uber. Or Uber. Or Uber. Yeah, no, yeah. I, no, exactly. Yeah. But she grew up in New York City, so we moved oh. here just last year for American Auto, and um, New York City kids are, do not ever learn how to drive. It's obnoxious. Yeah, um, but they're just not used to it. No, yeah. but they're not used to it. What so. was that move like, going from New York to here? That's pretty different. It's huge. It's a, it's a big difference. I mean, and luckily for me, it was the boy. Uh, my girl really was like taking the subway and going to tap class and doing all kinds of things by herself by yeah. you know, eighth grade or so. Um, the wow. ninth grade boy was a little easier of an adjustment, because he's still doesn't always remember his pants and stuff like that. So, <laughs> I have a boy and a girl as yeah, well. Yeah, so I mean, he's a, he's a great student and he's a, he's a hard worker, but you know, he's he needs a little more oversight. So the, it's a little easier to have him in LA, yeah. Okay, so have you been doing anything? I mean, ninth grade though, it's only three more years and then... <laughs> I know, I know. I mean, have you been doing anything to like market, you know, family vacations, well, anything fun? So that's why we moved here because I have, I did commute their entire, both of their lives for all my work. After Saturday Night Live, I stayed in New York. I did a lot of theater and I did any TV. I would just come, come and go and come and go and come and go. Yeah. And finally, American Auto was here and it was so much time. Um, it was just clear that I wasn't going to be able to like fly home for the weekend. And so yeah. I have been to like every basketball game and I have been, you know, more of a, an active participant in a great Present. way in his life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we just went to Spain. I love it was Spain. like our first vacation since um, COVID actually. Yeah. I'm about to do my first one and it's in Europe. Yeah, I haven't been on a big vacation in a while like that. Yeah. Are you taking the littles? I'm t no, I'm not. Okay. Nope. <laughs> no. Some I always have the littles. So yeah. this just, just this one yes. time that he Sangria. has them and I'm like, oh gonna... my God, what shall I do with my time? Yes. I will go to Europe You're with go friends. To Europe. A big old yes. jug, jug of sangria. Just doing irresponsible things because I can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's nice. And, and the you, plane, the plane alone without kids oh when you're God. used to flying with I little children. I'm so excited about my little cubicle. A magazine. And my little area on the no, plane. Nobody needs anything. I'm so excited. Yeah, because when you're best. on a plane with kids, you have to make sure they're no. not disturbing All the whole time. Plane. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I heard you do this thing that's almost like holiday the movie. You do like a you swap houses. Yeah, with so people? we we are part of like a um, we signed up for this like home exchange. Uh, I, I would say collective or community, but then it sounds like I'm in a cult. I, I mean, <laughs> it's like, you know, we just, uh, it's, anyway, it's one of those, it's a home exchange community. Okay. And you pay a fee and then it kind of self filters. You have to be recommended and it's all people who work. My husband's in advertising. It's all people who work in advertising and design. So the, usually someone knows someone who knows someone kind of a thing. Yeah. So the creepy factor is not a hundred percent. And, um, and if they're and, in design, their house is probably cool. No, it's actually a lot of times I'm like, oh, we can't exchange with them. Their place is way, way, way too nice. They're gonna be oh horrified God. when they come to our house. Oh my God. Yeah. So, um, but we've done it a few times. We've
do it with an Italian family and a Spanish family. And it's yeah. so cool because like, it makes the world so small. Yeah. Because they'll sort of, you know, swap. Usually the kids are around the same age range and yeah. we'll like set up, you know, the like just basic stuff. Like, oh, the good place for pizza for kids is this place, but for grownups, that would just go The intel has got to be great. Yeah, it's yeah. better than like trip, I mean, TripAdvisor's great, but like yeah. it gives you that, it just hands gives you that hands-on thing. And then, yeah. I mean, like the, it's, in the Italian one, it was hilarious, like we woke up you know, the first day there, got settled, and like the Italian kids were in my house playing Fortnite on our computer, and, your and my son was playing <laughs> Italian Fortnite on their computer. <laughs> you know, and it was just one of those like, it just made the yeah. world feel really lovely and small in a nice way. It is awesome though when you have kids and like we're at the beach and I'm like, bro, why do you have your <laughs> iPad right now? Yeah. Like there is an ocean, an ocean. in front of you. An air. Turn it off. Yeah. I'm like, how did it even get down here? I'm like, what are you doing? I know. Yes. yes. You have done SNL, Broadway, so many things, but is it true that your greatest achievement is bargain hunting? One of oh. my friends is great at this. Are I'm, you really great at this? I'm, I'm not good at this. You're not? No, and I grew up with no what money. What about your I just, Wayfair plug? I good, well, here's my thing, no. I'm not good at, I'm not good at, I'm not good at bargaining like in the sense of like going out and getting something. Okay. I'm good at getting you bargains, you're welcome. But I'm, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm, I'm not good at like going out or like if you go to like a flea market and people are like, oh, you can like oh, yeah. talk them down. No, like, I'm, I'm not good at that either because I get shy and embarrassed oh. and I don't want people to think I'm cheap. Yeah, yeah, right. I just, yeah. So I panic on that, for sure. Like, yes. I'll pick up the whole bill at dinner instead of, like, argue over how many Cokes somebody had. 100%. You know? Okay, that's fine. Yes. But I get a lot of, like, dopamine hits from being thrifty. Like, so, yeah. for, it's like, if I find something cheap, yeah. or if I find, like, I paid for all of our flights to Europe using points and miles. Yeah. So, and it was, like, the scene from Homeland or, like, A Beautiful Mind. <laughs> like, I'm, like, swapping, like, I can move the Hilton over to American points. And if I do, and my husband's, like, literally, you could be doing anything else and making money right now. But anyway, but I get really, fr like, the, the thrill of it's thrill yeah. amazing. And the thrill of the hunt is great. Like, finding something and getting a, a steal. And I, I, that makes me really excited. Okay, so I get this. My sister once told me, I had no idea, right? So I was, like, an Amazon Prime member or whatever. Yeah. And I don't work for them, so this isn't, like, a plug. <laughs> I, just, I just mean I didn't know. And I was, you know, paying for birthday parties and paying for things. Like, things that you get for things just constantly, yes. right? Yes, And because I'm a working mom, yes. single, whatever. My, my sister was like, hey, by the way, did you realize I had... This is not a joke. Like six mil, it was like some crazy six million points or something because I used my Amex. Some Amex, yeah, yes. card or something. And I was like, what do you mean? So then I proceeded to shop for like two years for free. That's incredible. On Amazon. And I was like, what? I was like, and every time, every time I'd say use my points and it goes zero, I'd, I, it doesn't matter how much money you have in life, it feels good. Oh, it feels amazing. So here's the best one I ever did. Okay, so we have um, we have a house on Fire Island, which is like a little uh, beach community. Off, yeah, 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 a little. Uh, it's, a, it's a barrier reef island off the coast of Long Island. Yeah. Anyway, a lot of rich people throw away their stuff at the beginning of the season, which makes for really great bargain hunting because they'll clean out the house because they're preparing to rent their house or whatever. So it's what great. What garage like, shells? That's okay, what I'm saying. Yeah. They don't have a garage sale. They just put it on their like, there's Just like little free. trash, you know, box things to keep the deer from eating your trash. Do you know what yeah, I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, okay. that you keep, yeah, for bears or whatever. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so they put their stuff out. So one time, I, one weekend I was walking by and there was a perfectly good Nespresso machine. I already had an espresso machine, which I had gotten for my birthday. But a month later, there was a perfectly good espresso machine. It looked brand new. I took it home. I was super excited. I poured water through it. It poured straight out the bottom and all over my floor. Okay. Oh, you Under, see why it was, was like got it. Got it. Got it. So yeah. I, but you know what I did? I, I was like, this thing looks new. So I picked up the phone and I called Nespresso, and they're like, oh yeah, the serial number is new. I'll send you a new one. Completely new. So I gave it to my friend Sally for her 40th birthday. <gasps> Look at that. Because, yes. And the greatest yes. thing is she's also thrifty, so I told her the whole story. She was like so extra excited that it was trash picked. Yes. <laughs> That's thoughtful. She got it. She trash picked a you smaller once in, in uh, Brooklyn, so yeah. <laughs> Friendship. Yeah. <laughs> so, so. so explain everybody, if they haven't seen it, what American Auto is about. It's a workplace comedy on NBC in the great yeah. tradition of the half hour workplace comedy. Yeah. And it's set in the C suite of an automotive company, Payne Motors. And I'm the new female CEO. I don't know anything about cars. <laughs> Um, and I'm not worried about the fact that I'm not, that I don't know anything about cars. So it's a, bit, it's a delightful workplace comedy. It's a bunch of, you know, uh, uh, well-meaning, but sometimes complete, uh, completely misguided executives. You wanted to say idiot. <laughs>
<laughs> you were like, misguided. <laughs> misguided. Let me set up your clip. Okay, so we have developed this really, this turd of a car called the Pika um, that we're trying to sell because our stock price is so low and we're trying to recover. This is, uh, there's been a whole long season arc about our, our company being in deep trouble. And we're trying to convince dealers to sell the Pika. And our idea is that we're gonna fill this cute little car with Pikas, which are an endangered species. They look like rabbits. So we can't, <laughs> we can't use Pikas because they're endangered. So instead they fill it with rabbits and I get in the car and my character Catherine is incredibly phobic about rodents. So um, <laughs> she has a meltdown and then she takes way too many Valium and then <laughs> ultimately ends up driving that car full of rabbits. <laughs> Success, which is just always a good plan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's when you call your Uber. All right, everybody, we have a clip. Here is Anna in American Auto. Come on. Nope. Nope, 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 can't do this. Dory, Dory, uh, 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 you're gonna need to get me something for this. You're gonna need to get me something for this. Oh, oh what, like a poncho? Uh, what, no, no, like a Valium or a Xanax or something strong. Well, how am I supposed to find that? Who well, what is an assistant for if you can't get me drugs? Go! Oh. <laughs> Are you actually into cars at all? Because if you were in New York, did you have a car? No. Okay. I mean, we, we have um, a Kia, which I love, but everybody thinks it's a black Kia. Um, and when it was the only color available, I didn't want it because I, and I, my husband was like, we're gonna get this one, I'm gonna get it in black. And I said, everyone's gonna think it's an Uber. And <laughs> um, literally three times a week, somebody knocks on my window. <laughs> E easily. I am not your driver. I'm literally like, hey, something, you know, so. Um, oh my gosh. Routinely. But it's very, I love the mileage and it's it's got butt warmers. So. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Once you go seat warmer, you don't go back. You don't go back and the yeah. mileage is bonkers. Yeah. So. Okay, everybody, you can catch American Auto Tuesdays on NBC and streaming on Peacock.